Hello. This is one of the videos I recorded a while back that had no audio. So in this video, I will be doing a voiceover as the video is rolling. So uh, we can make this video useful to whoever is watching. So here you go. We will be changing the power button on the Galaxy S4. As you know, the power button on the S4 is soldered onto the motherboard. Now, the purpose of this video is not just to show you how to change the power button on the Galaxy S4, but there's a lot of devices and phones in the market that has the button soldered onto the board. So the same technique will apply to any device with a similar button. Here we are using the low melt solder technique. We will not be using the hot air station. The reason for that is we do not want to expose the board to a lot of heat so we do not damage nearby components. So low melt solder is the way to go for this type of task. I just spilled some solder onto the copper wire on the board. It's not a big deal, but I would like to take it off. Now that we have the low melt solder on all joints of the button, the button is becoming soft and we should be able to easily pull off the button. Just making sure that all joints are being exposed to the low melt solder. Right, I think we are ready to pull the button off and there you have it. So what we're gonna do is put the button that we took off from the other Samsung S4. All right, so we are heating up the solder. Some of you may ask, why would somebody pay money to fix a home button on an old Samsung Galaxy S4? It's always, it always comes down to data recovery. The person just wants the phone to turn on so they can recover their data and contacts.
we will reapply solder on to all the pins of the button to make sure everything is soldered on nice and firm. And that's it. All we have to do is put the motherboard back inside the phone, connect the screen, put the battery in, press the power button, and wait for the logo to come on.